What's up, y'all? What's up? This is the new Anything Goes podcast. Anything goes. And I do mean anything goes. Yes, sir. I'm one of your hosts. My name is Big Ski. Big Ski, baby. The other host is Dusty Joe. Dusty Joe. And we got house. a special co-host from time to time, my boy Neil Ray, that'll be tapping in Neil with us. Ray. Man, we talking about it all. So welcome to the show, baby. Yo, 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 what up, y'all? This your boy, Big Ski. This your boy, Dusty Joe. Man, we back with another episode of Anything Goes. And today, anything goes like any motherfucking Sunday. Happy Sunday, fun day, fuckers. Hey, today we got some guests in the house, man. Hey, guests next to Joe, house. next to Dusty Joe, man. Tell them what your name is, bro. It's K. Franks. You feel me? I'm in the building. K. Franks in the building. Hey, bro, yeah, yeah. it's your first time being on the podcast with us, bro. You got anybody special in your life? You got any kids? Yeah, I got my kids. You feel me? My family. I got baby moms. I got everybody in my life. You feel me? They all special to me. Y'all special to me. You feel me? So we here. You feel me? We woke up. So it's happening, though. That's yeah. what I'm talking about. Hey, man, how old are your kids, man? I got one that's six and I got one that's 16. Hey, shout out to the babies, man. Yeah, yeah, hey, yeah. on the other side of Cake Franks, we got another special guest in the house. Yeah. Why don't you tell them what your name is? Princess B. Princess B in the building. Hey, Princess, you got yeah. anybody special in your life? You got any kids? Yeah, I have three special babies. Okay. Well, they're not babies anymore. <laughs> hey, how old are they? Uh, my son about to be 18. Um, I have a 15-year-old daughter and then my 6-year-old daughter. All right, all right. Shout three out kids. to the babies. Yeah. Hey, we also got one of our boys in the house, man. Hey. What it do, Inglewood? Inglewood in the building. They ruin the building. Yes, yes, what it do. Hey, what's Boss up, with up you, one bro? time? What's good, bro? Big hey, speed. man. Glad to have you back in the house with us, bro. Hey, what you been up to, bro, since we last seen you? Oh, man. Same old, same old grinding, man. You know what I'm saying? Just riding, working, being a father, you know what I'm saying? Trying to be a motivator and innovator. That's what's up. That's what's up. Hey, man. Uh, I heard you got a new project in the works, bro. Yeah, we got some projects. I got a few projects in the works. I got a uh, side B project I'm trying to drop in May for the summer. I already dropped the first single off of that, which is called Toxic. You know what I'm saying? I got an uh, EP I'm trying to do with the homies right here, K. Franks and Princess B. You know what I'm saying? Got a couple of features uh, working on in the process, too. You know what I'm saying? Oh, it's just working. It's going to be a good summer. Okay, okay. Hey, nice. K. Franks. Yo, yo. Bro, how long you been doing music, bro? Shit, I've been doing music since like 2006, you know what I'm saying? You know, had a little run in, motherfucker went to jail, you know what I'm saying? Slowed it down. So, you Shit know, happens. It was a process, so, you know, you go through that process and people start hearing you like, man, you should take that serious when you get out, you know what I'm saying? So I had my little journey, so once people, I feel like, start believing in me, you know what I'm saying? I had to believe in myself first. Yeah, you know? yeah, you yeah. gotta believe in so yourself. I had to start believing in myself first, That's and then I start, you know... Like writing it as I see it, like as you know, as as a, as a journey. You feel me? So, at the end of the day, like up until now, you know what I'm saying. I, I just, you know, it, it's just no, no no more time for error and no more time to waste. You feel me? Because it's like if if God, if He put something here for you, if He gave you a gift, you're supposed to use that. Yes. Even if to, even if it's to help somebody else, if it's your outreach, you the vessel. You know what I'm saying? To 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 be that platform, you know what I'm saying, to, to give somebody else that inspiration. So, you know what I'm saying, however it be. So, yeah, you know, man, I know. amen. I be wanting to give it up, you know what I'm day. saying? But, you know, at the end of the day, it'd be like, I'll be waking up, I'll be having different music, different thoughts, different, you know what I'm saying, images and shit in my mind. I'll be like, nah, bro, you got to put that down, you know? So you Yes, you do. Yes, nice. Hey, and if you have a gift and you got something to say, you got to spread it with the world, bro. Right, right. Oh, some real shit. For real. Princess B. Yeah. What's going on, mama? What's up? Hey, how long have you been doing music? Man, last year. <laughs> <laughs> hey, be real. Tell okay. the truth. Tell That's the truth. Shit. Tell the truth. <laughs> <laughs> well, what made you want to do music? Well, thanks to Nehru. Um, I wasn't doing music at first until I heard the uh, Slut You Out beat. Uh-huh. And when I heard that, I had wrote to it. And from there, I've been writing since. Okay, okay. Now, are you having fun with it? Yeah, I am. That's the most important <laughs> part. Really? Hey, have either one of y'all did any live performances yet? I have. Oh, my God. It was nerve-wracking. <laughs> 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 
Did you get the bubble guts oh, and all that good yes, shit? Yes, I got everything. <laughs> I did a few live performances. I did one live performance. The crowd, I didn't get no reaction. I was just, I was doing my thing. I felt too. I'm energy performance, Own everything, it. delivery. I'm looking at the faces. They just. Hey, but you know what? A I lot of places you perform though. at, bro, they gonna give you that little stank look and shit. Yeah. They gonna act like they don't feel you, even if they really do right. feel you, because they think it's it's not cool to give you your props. And that's some bullshit. If you like it, express it. Right. You know right. what I'm saying? I done been plenty of places where a lot of the gangster motherfuckers, they ain't fucking with me, but I had wifey with me, and she be reading the crowd for me. She's like, oh, them niggas bobbing their head and everything else. They right. wasn't saying shit, but they was on it. I'm like, yeah, yeah. all right. I still finish though. You feel me? You're supposed like, to, bro. You know what I'm saying? I didn't let that discourage me. I was just like, you know, it'd be like that. Like you said, it's just, it's just like, but I, that's just, it, it go with it. You feel me? You just got to keep going and just, you know. You have to. That's what I said about believing. You feel me? Because yeah. if you don't believe in yourself to be up there, ain't nobody else going to believe you. feel me? So there it is. Make and most, ass believe. And, and most of the time, your audiences are other artists. Yes, it, it's a lot. What, what did you call it? Uh, the, the showcase shit? What, what did you call that shit? The showcase, but, yeah. But anytime a lot of the uh, shows that you'll do, it'll be nothing but artists in there. And they may have one or few heads that they done brought with them, but after these motherfuckers perform, a lot of they people leave with them. I done been at shows where this motherfucker cleared the fuck out because I was supposed to go before the opening, I mean, the main act. They put me after the motherfucker because I was hotter than him. Mm. Uh, you know what I'm saying? So when this nigga left, his following left, and I'm like, ain't this a bitch? Yeah. I see this shit all the time. The homie was like, nah, I'm cool. I'm like, nah, we still got people that came to see us. I'm going to still rock for them. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? So that's when that professionalism and everything else come in. Like, you know what? Mm -hmm. I came to do this show. I'm going to do this show. I still have a good time. Mm -hmm. Hey, have, you, have anybody gave you some good advice that you could take to heart since you've been doing music, bro? Um, as far as like constructive criticism or positive or negative, which either mean, like, um, yeah, a lot of the times I got negative feedback to where I feel like, you know, like, why would you say that? Was it coming from some jealousy or hate? But then, you know, yeah. as you get older and you yeah. start learning, like, you know, you, you do got to switch up and tailor to certain audiences, tailor, tailor to who, you know, like you and, you know, just be open to feedback, you know, so you can't never just, you know, yeah. So people told me, you know, speak up, yeah. you know, uh, Make make people know you know they understand what you're saying, you know. Uh, just be genuine, you know. Don't try to be nothing you ain't. You yeah. know what I'm saying. So just you know, express yourself like how you want to. You know what I'm saying. So just don't try to do nothing that you know that everybody would try to. You know, do, don't do nothing outside of the ordinary. Your you feel me? Yes. Your character that you know people will frown upon. That you know you got a good upbringing. You feel me? So you know okay. that structure. So. Have anybody ever said anything to you to make you question yourself like, damn, why am I doing this? Um, <laughs> a lot of people, even your family, yeah, but I mean, they people question other people, but I guess that go with judgment, so I, you, you can't really pay attention to that. You know Bro, what I'm, I'm going to tell you this, artist to artist, fuck them. If they give you some negative shit, fuck like that's how I, I really, you know, you know, I really don't be because when you you pay attention to it, it'll get in your mind mm -hmm. psychologically you fuck know, you up. Fuck you but up. if you make it, then the yeah. same people, same man, people I knew you like, could. I knew you was, but it's like that's what happened. But you believe in yourself. That's why you just got to take it with a grain of salt. Keep it pushing, dog. Yep. You be like, all right, yep. that's how you feel. All right, you know, but I'm gonna still do me because if you let if if I let that derail me, what else I'm gonna do? Mm -hmm. Yes, real shit. It's true. Press S B. Yeah. Have anybody gave you some constructive criticism or have they ever said anything negative towards you and your music? It made you second guess it. I didn't second guess it, but yeah, they have. Uh, Fuck them. So, uh, you out. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but see, some people don't understand this is music. Yeah, it don't exactly. necessarily have to be what exactly. I'm living, but this is music. Enjoy the fucking My music. Mic on? Yeah, oh, so okay. yeah. enjoy the fucking music. Right. Some people they can't uh separate the two. Exactly. They figure out what you saying is how you really are this and what, what you're you doing. This is this is, this is entertainment. Right. Why is she a mother? Why is she talking like that? that yeah, right? but this is yeah. entertainment. How can't why can't you express yourself and have some fun? Right. It's the same thing in movies. Hey. <laughs> no, it really is. But I really don't care. You're not supposed to. I really to. don't. You're not supposed to on some mm -hmm. real shit. Because this is your life. You only got one this life to live, so have some fun with it. Right. Yep. Words, I agree. Expression. Hey, not only that, when you still, 
not really fall on your dream, but when you actually doing some stuff and you have kids, them kids are watching. Right. The message that you're giving them kids is you can do anything at any age. You don't necessarily have to do what mama doing, but you can do whatever you want to do at any age. Exactly. Don't give up. Exactly. And that's the that's the same message I preach to my kids. I'm like, you ain't got to do what I'm doing, but do your thing and be good at it. Don't give up. And right. You're gonna have haters along the way. Always. Fuck them. Regardless. Fuck them. <laughs> hey, Nairo. Yes, sir. I got a question for you, bro. What's the scariest experience you ever had on the stage, bro? The scariest experience is just being uh, forgetting my words. Mm. Mm. That's the scariest experience for me. Oh shit! And what did you do? Uh, I just took a break, you know what I'm saying, and recalculated to the part and came back on point, you know what I'm saying? Just like you know, what I'm saying, took a little like, hey, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Hyped the crowd up for a second, then came back, bro. I was in Lancaster at a show. I was drunk as a motherfucker. Still think I can handle my shit. I practice everything. I got the beat playing, and I'm, I'm with it. We was doing the shit live. You know what I'm saying? No lyrics. We had the hook, but no uh, lyrics on the uh, on the verses and Ooh, shit. That's the best So way. I'm in this motherfucker. First of all, I would go to the uh, restroom. This motherfucker's in there mad dogging me, looking at a nigga crazy, so I introduced myself. And I'm like, hey, fellas, I'm finna go perform and shit. Come check me out. I broke the ice and shit. I'm not here to fight tonight, but if y'all niggas want to take it there, we can. I'm trying to be on some peaceful shit. Right. So the dudes, they come up and they in front. They want to see what the fuck a nigga got to say. Mm. We and that motherfucker beat come on. I'm rocking it. Go through the first verse. I'm rocking that motherfucker. Second verse come up, I drew a blank. Ooh. Mm. I didn't know what the fuck to say. So just so happened, that was back in the time when they was throwing out ones and throwing out CDs and shit. So we had a stack of CDs. We had money and shit. So I'm starting to throw shit out. My homie catch on to it. He like, all right, he go to the other side, working the other side of the stage. Third verse come around. I said the first verse all over again. My <laughs> wife was like, this nigga done fucked up my favorite song. <laughs> Nobody knew though. Right. Nobody knew, but I kept going. I'm like, whoo, I barely got through that motherfucker. But I totally <laughs> fucked up when I drew a blank because right. I was pissing huh. drunk. So now I may have maybe one drink. And then after I get I get off, it's yeah, going yeah. down. You're right. You know what I'm saying? But I'll be damned if I get pissy joint before I go up again. <laughs> That's a little advice to y'all. If y'all doing yeah. some shit like, be careful. Because yeah, that yeah. shit can happen and it's going to be like, oh my God. Yeah, yeah. I think the other worst thing that could happen is the music fuck up in the middle of some shit. Yeah, I, I done had that too, bro. I was at one show where the, the niggas' microphones fell apart. So I'm oh, like, oh shit. shit. So we started doing the acapella. You they, know they, they had to the beat they going. They fell apart. Yeah, we turned, told the DJ turn the music down a little bit. He turned it down. We started yelling that shit acapella, oh, rocking shit. that bitch. They was Lay like, "Oh mics. shit, these niggas for real." I didn't had another show where the music went out, and I had to just keep going. Yeah, that's you what, know I was what I'm saying. Say. Niggas was like, "Oh that shit." That happened to me one time. I was in Long Beach performing. Yeah, you feel me? And I was like doing my shit, and, I, and it happened two times. I was in the middle of my verse, and the music cut. I'm looking at the DJ, and then I'm like, "Oh okay, you on some, you know?" And yeah. Then, Music came back and it was kind of off a little bit and I'm yeah. still like trying to rock, you know what I'm saying? Ooh. And then he did it again and I'm like, all right. Then he didn't do it no more. But I was like, that was the five heartbeat shit. It was a shaky yeah. ass shit. Like, all yeah. right, bro. But As an cool. artist, you gonna go through it, bro. But what makes a good artist, you don't stop. The crowd yeah. don't know yep. your shit. Yeah. You know, so you may get so three, like four the... heads in that motherfucker. At the most, and these the people you brought with you to know your shit. Don't nobody else know it. Right. I had a homie before we was in Lamert Park and we was doing a show. And uh, this nigga just totally just fucked up. He just fucked up. He looked at the DJ like, hey, man, can you start it back? He's like, man, I ate too many hot dogs. And shit, like, nigga, what? <laughs> I'm like, this is some bullshit yeah, he here. Was doing hot dogs. <laughs> I'm like, wow. But we had a nice ass crowd. And shit, this motherfucker like, hey, man, can you start it over? I'm like, ah, oh, man, you just killing yourself. Yeah. And then the nigga was like, I had too many hot dogs. That was it. Nigga, is one stuck in your goddamn throat? You son of a bitch. <laughs> Spit it That's out, nigga. What's fuck wrong with you? <laughs> Take it off the turntable, nigga. Hey, man, on some real shit. Hey, man, K Franks. If you wasn't doing music, what would you be doing right now, bro? Man, taking care of my kids, man. Trying to survive like everybody else. Trying to, you know, do what they got to do, you know? Mm hmm. Not, not fuck around, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know? Good. Because life's too short, you know what I'm saying? And uh, I had a recent. Uh, my pops just passed away not long, not too long ago. So you rest know, in peace to your pops, bro. Yeah, you know, so I look at life like totally different than before. You get what I mean? So a lot of shit really don't even really be mattering. But okay. your family and your kids and your passions and, and what you believe. So you know, I'm passionate about the music. I'm passionate about mm -hmm. my bros. What they believe in. We trying to come up with some uh, app. Anything you, you trying to be, you know, 
motivational about. So it's like basically just, you know, I, I don't fuck around with nobody that ain't trying to elevate and improve themselves. So okay. It's Real basically shit. at the end of the day, you know, circle small. So. Real shit. For me. Princess B. Yeah. If you wasn't doing music, what would you be doing right now? Um, working. Hell yeah. Uh, going to school. Well, it's going in and out. It's going in and out. Just, all right, let me see. Because you got to come closer. Nah. Handle this one. Now, what would you be doing if you wasn't doing music? I would be working, uh, going to school, which I'm currently doing too. So. Okay. Yeah. Me and my babies. That's right. That's right. Hey, man, I love having guests in here when they have families and stuff like that, and they want to speak on the families. I love that mm-hmm. shit because we all family orientated in here. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And then we're about having fun. That's what mm-hmm. we do. We have some mm-hmm. goddamn fun. Shout out to my four daughters too. Man, shout out, man. Shout out to yes. him. Yeah, Zari, Genesis, Kiki, and Ayana. Daddy loves you. Yes, he do. Yeah. How about that one? Hey, bro, I was looking at this story the other day. I just got to mention this, bro. Uh, it was a pastor. I forgot where he was at. And he kept telling his congregation that he was God. Mm. He was the real Jesus Christ. So they decided they was going to crucify this motherfucker for Easter. And this motherfucker <laughs> ran to the goddamn police for protection. How do you feel about some shit like that? So, so basically, what you're saying, then we're gonna crucify him because he was, you know, reenacted all over again, and he refused. Resurrection Sunday is coming. They were like, "Shit, if we crucify." So they expected him to resurrect too. If you telling them you Jesus, <laughs> what they want to prove? Yeah, but that's that's what that's what I was leading up to. They want to prove. But how do you feel about that? Somebody claiming that and then running for protection. Kind of hypocritical, ain't it? Like a motherfucker. Yeah. Yeah. Basically, you know, but you know, why would you believe anybody on earth anyway saying something exactly. like that? Exactly. Hey, but you know what? Pastors are normal motherfuckers because I was also reading this uh, article where this pastor was selling meth to his congregation. Wow. Yes. I'm like, baby, hey, but all pastors got jobs. You know what I'm saying? So I guess his other job was a, a hustler? For real, for real? Well, you do got churches that worship on cannabis. Yeah, church is chicken. <coughs> What's it called? A religion called Cantheism? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's a whole religion based off of worshiping cannabis. Mm-hmm. I mean, you fuck around and go eat at church's chicken, you gonna worship that shit out huh. Man, <laughs> I just had to bring that up, bro, because I thought that was some, some crazy shit. How you gonna claim to be Jesus, but then you run for protection? You should be able to stop anything that's coming towards you. I was gonna say, look, what happened to the faith? What happened to the faith? Yep. Who we? They must have saw something or they heard something like, okay, you believe that you Jesus. No, they was, they knew they didn't believe him. They was like, okay, you Jesus, okay. We show up here on this day. And this is what's going to happen. This is exactly. He the one that took it. Like, nigga, he. Hey, bro, Nero. Yes, sir. Have you ever been in a situation? Yes, sir. And it made you want to go home and write about it? Yeah. How did that song come out, bro? Uh, it came out pretty good. Hey, also, out of That's all awesome. of, out of all of your songs, mm-hmm. do you have a favorite that you love to perform, and why? Uh, I can't say which one it is because I, I haven't got a chance to really perform the newer ones yet. Just, but you know, what I'm saying I think every song I perform is gonna be a good one. Okay. You know what I'm saying it's hard for me to pick. Mm. K French, do you got a certain song that you love to perform, bro? Yeah, I got a certain song. Uh, it's it's about uh, one of my. It's a freestyle actually, um, and it's like in the beginning I mentioned like three of my homeboys and two of them not here no more. Mm. You feel me? Okay. And they was there when we did it. It was in the garage, you know, turning up all the shit. You know what I'm saying? We was on Park Ave and shit, so. And, and two of my niggas not here, you feel me? So when I performed that, it just hit different. And yeah. like, one of my other boys that was here that recorded it with us, you feel me? We was all together. He'd just be like, he'd be like, it's not the same no more, you feel uh. me? So that's why it's like, and that was like the grassroots, like when I had got out the pen, like, you feel yeah. me? So like, I started getting back in the booth and, you know, trying to, you know, and then niggas was there. So now, nigga, you know, niggas get older, split up, do different shit. Niggas mm-hmm. still cool, but it's like, your loved one's not here no more. So it's like, that's why I say I start picking back up the music. I'm like, I got to do it for my bros, do it for yeah. Rue. 
niggas, you know what I'm saying? We 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 back out here with this shit, so you feel me? Hey man, success, much success in everything you're doing. <laughs> Princess B. Yeah. <laughs> what do the B stand for? Bands. Bangs. Okay, I <laughs> get that. For bands. I, I I get that. That's some <laughs> dope shit. Thank hey, you. do you have a, a a certain song that you like performing? I only have uh, performed Slash You Out, but I would love to perform um, this song I record. Uh, um, I'm That Bitch. I'm sorry. Okay. Okay. It's over um, Too Short Beat, Call Her a Bitch. Yeah. So, yeah, I would love to pre- uh, perform that. Okay. okay. Maybe we can have you in here one day and perform it in here live for us on the oh, after Yeah, hours. yeah. Because I sure. would love to see it. For sure. For sure. Okay, okay. Hey, Joe. Bro, uh, what's up, Bubba? How your week, man, bro? Talk to me about your week, bro. My week been shitty. I had to work all week. <laughs> Good enough for me. Yeah. Good enough for me. You know I'm a. You know I'm the fucking union rep, right? <laughs> yes, I do. You know we had a, a, a informational strike planned for Thursday, and it was busted. And none of our fucking members showed up to the fucking strike. But want to but want to complain about their hours and their money and all kinds of shit. You were out there. I went out there twice, bro, and that motherfucker looked like a ghost town. And I was like, what kind of shit is this? Exactly. We're supposed to be out here protesting for uh, more money, uh, the new contract and everything, bro, and nobody got the well, fuck they out were there actually, they, It shit. was actually a protest because they want to cut hours. Yeah. Because uh, we work for LAUSD, and they want to cut. Um, we just got a, a big contract. Mm-hmm. You got pay raise and everything. But now they want to cut certain people's hours. Mm, that's so that's right. what we're fighting for. Nobody showed up. So it's yeah, like nobody showed up. Mm. The people that didn't show up should get their hours cut. Exactly. <laughs> I, I would love for that to happen. Exactly. I would love for that to happen. That's about it. That was one of the highlights of the week. Other than that, fuck them. <laughs> that's yeah. something like the gripe. Yeah, <laughs> damn That's the gripe of the week. Joe might bring that back on some real shit. Rewind. Uh, hey, uh, K Frank, bro. If you ever had a chance to perform anywhere in the United States, where would it be, bro? And why? Um, probably like uh, if it wasn't next to like New York or like Africa. It's the United States. But uh, New York, well, where where it's you know highly syndicated and uh, you know more like process as far as like more analytical and like how niggas you know. Be on the bars like that and be on, you know, so I'd rather at least either go get school or go, you know, put some, some bars down. Yeah, just don't so. go to Apollo because them motherfuckers don't fuck with West Coast artists. Yeah, they, they, they uh, going to boo you as soon as they say your name. Like, what the they fuck? They going to boo you the first time. Like, nigga, I didn't say shit. After the album dropped it and you come back. Hey, first you, you know, don't succeed. That's what I heard. Try again. Try it, try again. You feel me, so. <laughs> right. Princess B, if you had yeah. a, plans, a chance to perform anywhere in America, United States, where would it be and why? Um, Miami, mm, uh, Florida, okay. because um, I was out there for my birthday and it was real lit. Okay. I liked everybody that was out there. The energy, it Support was. Supporty town. They, yeah. They, they out there doing it in Miami, boy. Yeah, I've so, been to Florida. Yeah. It's, it's, it's lit out there. <laughs> oh, wait. Hey, any of y'all could answer this. If y'all had a chance to do a song with any major artist, who would it be, dead or alive, and why? Uh, it's so many. Um. Just give me one. <laughs> I'm gonna go first. Go ahead. Yeah. Mac Miller. Mac, Mac Miller. Miller. Yeah. Why? Dude is dope. I got on to him late. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? I didn't really get on to him until after he died. Then when I, I still be wanting the nigga shit. It's, it's, it's Ain't nothing wrong. wrong with that. Yeah. All right. And the dude, I, it's a, it's, it's a few of them, but most recent, like how heavy though, Young Dolph. Mm. Oh yeah, that's a good one. Okay. So I'm gonna come back in a few minutes with somebody alive. Now now why would you do it with Young Dolph? Because what he stood like for. Hustle. I like his yeah. hustle. And his hustle, you feel me? It was genuine, you feel me? And the streets the, the you, to this day, you feel me, when your city embrace you like that, it's only it's only, you know what I'm saying? You could tell that's some so. real shit. So and then, you know, he, he spread love with his artists, you feel me, that was his relatives, you feel me, his folks, so like the people, you feel me? So yeah, you know what I'm saying? Real shit. Princess B, did you ever figure it out? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Um, Trina and Eve. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, Trina, I, w- I grew up listening to her and Eve. Yeah. Um, I feel like I get some of my uh, flow and style from her. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah, Eve, I love her. She gives that gangster sexy vibe. Yes. Yes. So, yeah, them two, for sure. I would love for and both Megan of them. And Megan Thee Stallion. I don't want to oh, leave her okay. out. I love Megan. her, too. I ain't, I ain't mad at that. <laughs> That's what's up. Hey, at this time, though, we want to do a video of the week, man. Hey, Joe, we got a video, bro? We sure do. Hey, man, we're going to play a little something right here, brand new. Hey. Brand spanking new. Hey, neighbor, why don't you tell them what it is, bro? It's brand spanking new. <laughs> 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 no, I'm bullshitting. Uh, this is a new video off the summer album coming out, so I.B., featuring I.B., Toxic. Let's go. Inglewood, stand up. Let's go. <laughs> I'ma call her Billie Jean Cause she ain't my lover No, really in them jeans Yeah, fuck on top of them colors Make your party, don't get me started Retarded, when they come to the dump I'm departed, I do this often We flossing, so the bitches jocking I walk it just like I talk it, they talking, but they really don't know shit. Ain't this shit, ain't never hit a lick. Ain't seen a bitch, ain't made nothing flip. She tripping, thinking that she gon' get cuffed on. Only got dick in the blunt that you can blow on. I'm serious, heard about the last chick, she's curious. Wondering how the D make them delirious. Real life, it could be your wife or your girlfriend. World's in, when I put it down, got it open. No gang. Rejuvenated cooch, man. Got it on the first night. Didn't get the name. I'ma call her Billy Jean. Cause she ain't my lover. Now I'm gonna be in them jeans. Yeah, fuck on top of them covers. She toxic, toxic. You sex is an object. She good with the pro tools. But that's my logic. I met her backstage, horny as hell. She walked up, flipped the coin with some head or tail. Took my hand toward her man, said, I'll be right back. I was giving her the Heimlich. It be like that. Off to my next mission. Got two young bitches tongue kissing. Drop the pole, hit them both. Yeah, gone. It's like a crisis. This lady got a pipe list. But the session was priceless. She got her mind made up, acting like I'm thirsty. I be all in them guts, like it was surgery. I don't lie on my dick. That'll be perjury. She took it while I was asleep, like it was burglary. I plead the fifth. For everything I did do And once again For everything I'm about to It's a done deal Still with a tip kiss Back to her man Back to her kid Toxic I'm bitch I'ma call her Billy Jean Cause she ain't my lover Now I'm gonna be in them jeans Yeah, fuck on top of them covers She toxic, toxic You sex is an object She get with the pro tools But that's my logic she hot and ready, I told the prop to leg you I told her don't run from it, hold it steady I'ma keep it going, you ain't even gotta beg me I'ma keep it going, you ain't even gotta beg me But call me crazy, or maybe I was dreaming But every time I step on the ground, it start gleaming Her eyes just start beaming, her body I left it singing Now every time that I put it down, she start creaming I'm and balling, we do this shit often Oh, oh, and balling, we do this shit often Oh, oh, Was the brand new video by who? She good with the Pro Tools. They rule. Inglewood stand but up. That's my logic. Hold on. Inglewood in the building. <laughs> stand up one time. Hey, man. You it's stand like up, that. nigga. <laughs> <laughs> K Frank's over there, like, oh, shit. Sure, Inglewood, nigga, too. Stand up. Inglewood, sure, stand up. Shit, sure, sure, put me on the remix, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> that's how it go. Hey, sometimes it's like that, man. Hey, what was the uh, the whole logic behind that, man? What's up with the Michael Jackson dude? Y'all had that motherfucker. Man, talk to me about that. And I had to bro. incorporate the Michael because the homeboy IB came up with the hook. Yeah. And he was like, you know, he came up with the, I'm going to call her Billie Jean. Mm-hmm. So when they said Billie Jean, I already had the homie in mind. 
Oh you know shit. Man. Hey, hey, I like that shit though, man. That's hey, some they shit. Nate Rule blessed me to let me be there. We was doing the thing. That nigga had that shit set up real nice. You feel me? Everybody executed they shit real good. You feel me? Your boy came through, did his moves. Yeah. Shit was real professional. Shout out to me. Michael Frost. Yeah, hey, shout, you shout know out what? to Director, boys. editor of it. As an artist, bro, sometimes it's good to just go and be there watching certain shit. That's yeah. how you learn, bro. That's how you get them. That's how you learn. That's how I learn. And that's also how you get other connections while you there. That's how right, I make right. connections. Networking. Yeah, networking. That's what it's all about. You fuck around, rub shoulders with motherfuckers. You try to pick their brain a little bit, and then right. you implement that in your stuff, bro. Even if it's not your uh, function or, you know what I'm saying, shoot or whatever. Yeah. Go for an hour, two hours. You never know who you're going to meet. You're going to yeah, see, yeah, you, you know what I'm saying? Know. That's some real shit. Hey, bro, if it was three things in your life you could live without, what would it be? Dylon, Dylon, and Dylon. <laughs> no, <I'm just> <laughs> <laughs> Three things I could live without? Yeah. I could live without the bullshit. Uh, basically, that's, I could have no bullshit. I could be straight. You know I can live without the bills too. Yeah. <laughs> the taxes. That's what exactly. I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? And uh, go ahead, go let me answer. I'm gonna think about one more. If it was three things you could live without, K. Franks, what would it be, bro? Shit, three things. Uh, the internet, uh, <laughs> social mm. media, uh, the police. Uh, <laughs> Goddamn right. How about just take guns? How about uh, that? Yeah. Nobody had guns and everybody be fighting, but niggas still be using knives and all that shit and bats and yeah, yeah. No, no, but still, I'd be hitting uh, niggas with pizza boxes or something. Fuck it, fuck nigga, you hungry? Shit, a pizza oh, box. I could live yeah. without black licorice. <laughs> oh, black licorice. <laughs> That's the nastiest shit in America. I second that emotion. <laughs> Princess, B. I can't say nothing. I like it. If it was. <laughs> You, you would. Auntie, you and my auntie the only ones. Yeah, Princess B, if it was three things you could live without, what would it be? Uh, like he said, the internet. Um, I can live without a lot of things. As long as I got my babies and I'm in my home. There you go. Real shit. Um, <laughs> and we got everything we need up in there. But, um, yep. hmm. Negative people. Mm hmm. Uh,. And bad food. <laughs> oh, wait. I was watching something the other day where motherfucker was like, I'm that motherfucker you don't want to invite to a cookout because if the food nasty as a motherfucker, I'm, I'm going to tell say you. something. Like, who the fuck made this potato salad? This bitch don't ever need to make it again. I'm yeah. like, oh, shit. Mm. I'm like, motherfuckers like that, they mean well, but they be dangerous than a motherfucker because I might have cooked all this shit. And they be you making a bad lot of that shit, too. It, it, it's Man. funny. I used mm. to be like that. Really? I had to tone that shit down a lot. <laughs> Hey, cause niggas feelings get stop getting invitations. Yeah, I, 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 that nigga sitting there. I, going I, I like, stopped getting invited places. <laughs> I wouldn't mind some of that nasty shit today, but they like, nah, we not calling you, <laughs> nigga. You ain't coming over here. It's a lot of nasty food around here. Yes, it yeah, is. Yeah, it is. I agree. Man, my feelings are hurt. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Nayru, Nayru, man, fuck that. Hey, at the beginning of the show, you was doing something, bro. What was I doing? You was singing, man. What's up with your singing career? Oh, you know, uh, I didn't know I could sing. I didn't either. Where did you find out? I just, I just learned. <laughs> Today? He just in learned. jail. Uh, uh, Bobby Womack's brother told me when I was in jail. No. <laughs> he was an <a> ass. <laughs> <laughs> nah, for real, though. That's just shit. I'll just be climbing around. That's so uh, shower singing. That's what I call it. Hey, oh, okay. that's when everybody sound good in the shower. Yeah, yeah, shit. Not, not me. You know, Joe? No. You sound fucked like up a, in and out? Sounds like I'm drowning. <laughs> <laughs> Joe sounds like he got a motherfucker in the head like in or out the shower. Yep. Like, nigga, what the fuck is wrong with your shit? <laughs> nigga, usually in the shower or in the car, I sound like anybody I want to sound like. You sound like you in the headlock. <laughs> nigga, my shit, <laughs> hey, my shit be crisp. It be clear till you turn that shit down. You, be like, yeah. you sound go, like I got hey, a frog you, in my throat. You automatically go down with the volume. Hell yeah, yeah you're supposed to. <laughs> oh. Yeah, you don't, you don't out sing that shit. <laughs> what are you doing? You gotta tone it the fuck down. If they tone it down, you gotta tone Leave it, it down. Leave it up, nigga. If they turn it all the way off, that means shut the fuck up. Sing instrumentals. <laughs> Sing instrumentals. <laughs> fuck that. That's a good one. <laughs> nigga, hum the hook. <laughs> For real. Hey right, man, those some real shit, man. You never know what you're going to get when you fucking with your boys here at Anything Goes Podcast. Anything, Anything goes. could fucking happen. Anything. Hey, bro. 
Speaking about the pastor I talked about earlier, bro, did any of y'all ever see the story that they had last week about this pastor paid somebody $40,000 to kill his daughter's boyfriend? No. Mm. This I, is a pastor doing this shit, though. I've like, I seen the story, but I didn't really read it. But, bro, it's disturbing. These pastors is off the hook. I could see if they was deacons. These motherfuckers, all right, nigga, I can slide for the deacon. Nigga, for the pastor? Did, did, did you the see the pastor the, that the was... Gets the pastor. Yeah, the deacon get a pastor. Yeah. He, he, they working on him. The, past, the, pastor? the pastor that was selling meth to his congregation? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, boy, trying to get his hustle on. He like, shit, the church money ain't coming quick enough. Let me go and get a couple extra dollars. I got some fire in the back. Oh, Everybody <laughs> lined up. They thinking they finna get a plate. They finna get some meth and keep it moving. <laughs> Nigga, we got a room out back y'all can use. They probably <laughs> just don't tell the rest of them. But don't tell the goody two shoe motherfucker. Set them shot. Yeah. I'm like, this is shit. It's ridiculous. But if it was a, a deacon, like I said, deacon get a pass. Mm. They Wait. still working with this nigga. But the pastor, he said the deacon can sell meth. Yeah, but the pastor. <laughs> now, if they was in cahoots with each other and it wasn't directly the pastor doing it, maybe too. But the pastor was selling the meth. The pastor paying forty thousand dollars for the meth. What, what about deacon. what about ministers? Joe, deacon, mm -hmm. okay. Anybody else? Nah, man. Anybody? So, else? so, so, what you saying? Even say if the nigga was on the mother's board, so that would be okay. So, what you're saying is, I'm shit out of luck. You shit out of luck. <laughs> hey, Joe is an all day minister. Oh, real? Mm -hmm. yeah. All day. The nigga was up like two, three o'clock in the morning. That nigga knows that he took a course on. Don't you hear what I said though? What I said? All day. <laughs> man. <laughs> hey. Also, if anybody want to get married, this nigga can marry y'all. We can do it live in this motherfucker. I'm just saying. I'm just throwing it out Where's there. Where's the camera at? <laughs> right here. I'll say that again. If anybody want to get married out here, we can fuck around. <laughs> <laughs> he said, nope, not me. But Joe was an all-day minister. He took a class online man. like 2, 3 that. in the morning. He got like a little certificate, all this shit. This nigga can really marry motherfuckers. <laughs> So, I'm like, I don't know if, I, if I'm if i going to be up 2, 3 o'clock in the morning trying to learn how to marry a motherfucker. See, you can be, be be the real one. You know what I'm saying? And somebody can ask you to marry him, and then you'll be like, I, I don't think I can marry y'all. I don't think y'all right for each other. No uh, shit, you know what I'm saying? No, fuck that. We're going to marry somebody on this motherfucker. <laughs> no, I'm saying he should be able to be like, I'm not going to marry y'all because I don't think y'all should be married. I'll marry them because I think they're in love, but I don't think y'all motherfuckers is ready yet. You know motherfuckers ain't going to want to hear that, though, bro. We we fuck around. We would be like, okay, we'll marry y'all, but we don't send in the paperwork if y'all shit ain't right, so it ain't official. Once that paperwork go in, that shit is official. You might get hired at one of them judge shows to come down and no shit, huh? Like people divorce court or some shit. <laughs> well, he gotta marry him first before he can divorce him. Well, they might want to get remarried or some shit. Man, I'm telling you, this shit going down. Mark my motherfucking words. Mark on, his motherfucking words. On one word. of these goddamn seasons, <laughs> somebody gonna get married. Goddamn seasons, somebody gonna get goddamn married. <laughs> If anybody looking at Nehru and they want to put a ring on his finger, let us know. <laughs> oh, that you don't want to talk, man. You see how this nigga changed that up? He changed real quick. I'm just saying, if you want to put a ring on his finger, on his finger, then come on down. We gonna fuck around. Got a, and a blunt you can smoke on. Man, come on down. We gonna fuck around and marry. This motherfucker here talking evil, talking ridiculous. I'm, I'm just saying, bro. I'm just, shit happens. Oh, shit. You never know. Shit happens. All right, nigga. Hey, I'm just saying. Hey, don't now, speak on me. All right, well, I, I got another question, though. AK hey, Franks, how you know would you up? describe your style of music, bro? Oh, yeah, that's a good one. Shit, I got um, some of that West Coast. I got East Coast. I got uh, nigga, uh, Midwest. I nigga got, got a lot of ranges. A, 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 lot of, a, lot, a lot of bars, a lot of, uh, you know, uh, concepts you feel me I'm, I'm i'm everywhere with it but but to say you know people will say i'm i'm trapped more trap more trap mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying and then you know but i'm i'm, I'm everywhere though you know okay. what i'm saying so and i and i and i know the uh gospel rap as well though but oh, yeah uh, okay like okay gospel rap too. yeah so I could, I, could, I, could fuck, I could fuck around, you know what I'm saying? But not the curse right <laughs> Not the curse right after saying that, though, but you know what I'm saying? Just say that you're going to be a deacon and it's, yeah, it's we forgivable. Did, we we gonna, did, we, the we deacon, right. I, I ain't putting no bounties on nobody, though. <laughs> yeah, there, there we go. There we go. Princess B, how would you describe your style of music? Um, Sexy. Uh, I say classy ratchet. Okay. Classy uh, ratchet, that's a good mm -hmm. one. I like it. And uh, <laughs> um, you know, good vibe, reserve, chill, pay, okay. boss. Okay. You know, okay. yeah. I get that. I like that. Nayru. 
Yeah, how would you describe your style of music, bro? I'm just... Uh, I don't know. It's hard to say real when everybody keeps saying they real. When I, because real is different for everybody. But for me, I'm just... I'm just entertaining. I like to do it all. I like to cover the hood, the street, the party. But mostly I'm into the party. You know what I'm saying? I like to have a good time. You know what I'm saying? And when I say party, I don't like to... Don't think just like I'm thinking like dancing and everything. I'm just music that you can dance to, but I'm still talking about whatever I'm talking about. You know what I'm saying? So. And I like that because I was gonna ask you how does where you stay affect your music, and the it affects what you talk about. But you already kind of summed that up because you want to party, chill and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's it's a moment for everything, basically. That's why you got to try to cover every aspect. I want some niggas can ride too. I want some niggas when they go to the club, they want to, you know, what I'm saying, I make the girls shake their ass. This, this, nigga got, this nigga, got, yeah, he got range. Trust me. But that's important though, as an artist though. You want to give people a little everything. Like me, when I was younger, all my shit was gangster rap. Everything I did was gangster. And then something kind of switched. I was like, I want some shit my mom could listen to. Exactly. So right, I had right. to clean it up. Now I'm a father, I'm like, shit, I want some shit my kids could listen to. It was kind of funny. All of my music, I didn't play until my kids got to maybe about the seventh grade. I didn't want it, them to hear me with all the cussing and all right, other right, shit. Right. So I play other music, but I wouldn't play my music. I still don't play my music for my kids. They might hear it. Like if some of my kids is on TikTok, my youngest kids on TikTok, she be knowing all my shit. Be, I'm like, you ain't even supposed to be on here. Yeah. But oh, to say that, you know what I'm saying, it's just like, I don't, my kids don't even really hear. My oldest kid, she, tw my oldest daughter, she's 24. She know, she hear my shit, so she old enough to hear it. Yeah. But I don't even let my kids hear it. I'm trying to work on something that they can play, you know what I'm saying? But for now, they can hear my instrumentals when I'm writing. Yeah. Hey, bro, I think one of my best shows that I ever had that made me feel like I made it is when I did a song and had my mom there. I brought my mom up on stage and I sung the song too. That's what's up, bro. You know what I'm saying? Mom was boo-hooing and snot oh, and shit like oh, that. Shit. But it made me feel like I was there. You know what I'm saying? Right. I never had a show that meant that much to me. Right, that's what's up, Like man. I had my mom there. Have you ever did a show where it was sentimental to you, bro? Um. Yeah, I did a show. It was like, but it was the homie show, but uh -huh. what was sentimental was, in the middle I was performing, the fight broke out with the homie and while I was mm -hmm. rapping. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and it was like, we started fighting together, so it was like, and then he went to jail, like, while I still been home, and yeah. then I see him come back home, and he was like, oh, he's talking about that moment. Like, remember that time? Like, yeah. You feel me? So I could say that was like a moment, like. Got it. I got sentimental moments, but I kind of feel like each show is, has their own kind of it, it's not one show that stood out though. Uh, I guess I'm gonna just go with the first show I ever got to. My first show that I would consider a big show. DJ Quake had let us uh, perform a song with my old group called Boss Click. Mm -hmm. Shout out to the act and uh, rest in peace to homie KB. So that was in the middle. Of, you know what I'm saying? Okay, he was there for that. Okay. Rest Precious KB. B. You ever uh, had a show that was sentimental to you? Well, I only performed twice. Okay. So I Rest stayed the, the first John. time because all my um my uh, sisters and my uh, brother came out. Yeah. And to so uh, support, moment. yeah, they had supported. So yeah, that one was perfect. I'm gonna tell you, once you get that one show, you don't necessarily have to chase it to live up to it. But just go and do your thing and be comfortable every time you have a show. Moments are going to come throughout your career unless y'all stop today. You know what I'm saying? If, as long as you keep going, you're going to have some special moments. You're going to have all kind of stuff to happen. You're going to have fights to break out. You, it's just mm -hmm. all type of shit that's going to happen. Yeah, yeah. But as an artist, you keep striving, you keep going, going. and everything is going to be all right. know we ain't going to be here. And I just wanted to say this. Shout out to everybody. Well, you know, rest in peace, uh, KB. Rest in peace, my, my boy, John John, GD. My pops, everybody lost, you know, somebody in this journey, you know what I'm saying? Just, you know, we got to keep pushing, you feel me? So, if they know what you wanted them to do, they want you to keep doing that shit. So, I just wanted to put that out there, you feel me? So, uh, Real shit. Hey, bro, uh, before we uh, keep going or whatever, why don't you give people your social media so they can find out how to contact you if you got some music out or something like that? Oh. Why don't you tell them where it's at too, bro? 
K Freaks. I'm on K Freaks Reverb Nation. I'm on uh, Reverb Nation. K A E F A R F R A N K S Reverb Nation. You feel me? Um, I got Facebook. I got tw uh, Twitter. It's K Franks One. Then I got Swang Season on Instagram. You feel me? Go look at that. I got a link up there. You feel me? With a video. Y'all, you know what I'm saying? Check into that. I got some new music coming in with, with Nehru, Princess B. We got some more, some more of it. You feel me? That's right. That's right. Princess B, you want to give anybody your social media where they can contact you or listen yeah. to some of your music? Yeah, I have some samples on my um, Instagram and TikTok. Uh, my Instagram is Princess B with seven underscores. Um, the TikTok is Princess underscore bands underscore. Okay, okay. Bands, you know, with the Z okay. at the end. Okay. Hey, Ru. Yo, yo. Tell them where they, where they can find you at, bro. You can get me on TikTok as Nehru, N-E-H-R-U, and I'm on Facebook as the same spelling. You can find me on Instagram as Boss Nehru 111. That's what I'm talking about. Hey, K. Franks. Yo, yo. What do you like to do in your spare time, bro? Shit, I like to be with my son. I like to work out. Shit, play ball. I like to rap. Uh, I like to hustle. Shit. Anything that I could do in my spare time is really limited, you know what I'm saying? Nigga work, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, most of the time, you know what I'm saying? A nigga gotta make itself do shit so it don't feel like I ain't doing nothing. You get what I mean? Yeah. So, a lot of times just be moving around, checking on loved ones, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, shit. Turning up, you know what I'm saying? Doing, I'll be, I'll be turning up, but I'll be having to turn down because sometimes it ain't always about yourself. So, you gotta, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's what I'm talking about, Princess B. Yeah. What do you do in your spare time? Um, it's a balance. I'm usually chill at home with my babies or on some me time, or I'm out with my sisters or my homegirls. All right. When you say me time, though, <laughs> what is the me time? My me time going to Vegas. <laughs> Shout out to Vegas, God damn it! I'm on my way. <laughs> Lost wages. Taking my trips to Vegas. Yeah, I love Vegas. So yeah. do I. Getting ready to go real soon, God damn it. go to Vegas. Lost yeah, that's wages. Oh, yeah. What the, if I was could... gonna look. I was gonna say that. That's all. I, I I got a uh, gambling addiction. <laughs> oh shit. I me too. Lie. I stopped. I, I stopped stop. in the casino. I can't stop gambling. Like two years ago. You feel me? So. I, don't I just left the all nighter. They don't. They don't Look, sleep. I shoot dice. <laughs> yeah. Gambling machines, whatever. Like I was, you feel me, addicted. This for nigga me. tried to bet me how long does it take to get here. <laughs> 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 like nigga, you ain't been there yet. <laughs> nigga, hey, I got five minutes. Hey, bro, what are you doing your spare time, bro? Man, for real, I work so much at everything. You know, uh, I just write and I. I, in my spare time, basically, I'm thinking most of the time. Yeah. Okay. When I really got some quality time just to sit. It's just I'm thinking, trying to evaluate and plot and plan. Mm. What Pinky say? Take over the world. Man, plotting to take over the world. Hey, man, at this time, though, we always do this little part of the show. It's called Gripe of the Week. A Gripe of the Week is anything that could have happened to you this week that you want to talk about, or it could have happened today. Hey, Joe, man, you got any gripes of the week, bro? Honestly, I think I already said mine. Well, speak on it again, Joe. About the fucking, you know, Work. people not, you know, the union, you know, people not fighting for their own shit, but they hey. want everything handled to, handed to them. Yeah. Give, give me a job, I'll show up. Shit, Man. be nice. You know, <laughs> it, it's, it's, I can get questions and complaints all day, every day, all week. Yeah. But when it comes down to, to take a call of action, nobody wants to do anything. Mm. And Dusty's serious, y'all. Yeah, I'm, you know, that, I'm that, looking at his eyes, y'all. That, that shit, it, it's fucking crazy. Because you know what? My job is secure. Yeah. I'm trying to help you with your job. Mm. He's pointing at y'all. And but the nigga pointing at me and shit. That's some bullshit. But nigga, I'm, you ain't helping me, nigga. He's pointing at the, he's pointing at you, but he mean he really pointing at the camera. You just in the line. You just in the, the uh, line. Nigga, the, point the, your <laughs> shit somewhere else, motherfucker. Oh <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it just you know I'm trying to help you, you know, secure your job and secure your hours. But when it comes, like I said, when it comes down to a call of action, you guys don't want to do nothing about it. Mm. So, shit so, uh, drive uh, turkey. so so what's the number to the action? Shit. So right so there. man. So somebody. Made a good point earlier. What's that? I said fuck him. Fuck him. <laughs> K. Franks. 
Man, anything happened to you this week you want to talk about, bro? You got any gripes of the week? Um, uh, not too many. Shit, not really. Uh. It's, I just been happy to wake up. I can't be mad about mm-hmm. nothing, man. Man, you looking at the blessings <laughs> instead yeah, of the gripes. I'm, I'm fucking yeah, with I'm, it. You know, <laughs> I'm fucking. Not with Not this it. week. I had some, but ain't nothing this week, so uh-huh. I can't look. Okay, I, I work with go. that. <laughs> look, 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 As soon as we leave, you nigga be like, man. Look. I should have said that. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I am not. Well, let me call these niggas see if they can edit that. <laughs> hey, Princess B, man, you got any gripes of the week? Anything uh-huh. happened to you this week? You want to talk about? Not really. I can say this morning, um, when I leave work, I like to smoke before uh-huh. I take off. Yeah. And I try to, you know, roll up, and I don't even have my weed in the car. That's a gripe of the week, goddamn. Like, yeah. I forgot my <laughs> shit. Now I got to ride so, home sober. This I got to go all the way home and then do what I got to do. That's a gripe. Got the hey, A-Nay rule, man. You like, got to... Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, no, no, no. What else? No, go ahead. Come on, I was going to say, I like to uh, smoke and ride. Yeah. Ain't nothing wrong with that. I got a gang of friends. They drive better when they high. Yeah. I'm like, nigga, how about I drive alone and not with no you? No shit. Hey, <laughs> Nayru, man, you got any grouch of the week, bro? Anything happened to you this week, bro? I'm pretty sure a bunch of shit happened. Shit happened every day, but I can't pick out the one that stood out the most. Mm. Other than. There we go. Other than. When people just keep hounding for money and you be like, we all trying to get some money. Nigga, that's because you show them goddamn videos where you throwing money around that motherfucker. They like, oh, he done made it. <laughs> he done made it. Huh. Let me call this nigga see if I can get a dub. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> but the nigga know you, though. So if he know me, you know what I'm saying? I'm telling you, like, nah, I ain't got nothing right now. I ain't got paid yet, nigga. He like, hey, man, come on, man. I just seen you with 100000 You throwing the air, nigga. I can't get a dub. I think it was 200000 first of all. Hey, but, but, hey, but get it right. Nigga, he counted all that shit. He hey. like, I can't get a dub. You know what I'm saying? I know the nigga asked for more than a dub. Don't but don't count my pockets, nigga. Ooh. Tell hey, me, I had a homie that used to count my pocket. This nigga knew when I get paid, every payday, this nigga trying to hit me for change. <laughs> hey, what the fuck day, wrong with you? He called you the day before. I'm like, what the fuck? No, I don't have it, nigga. the day before. I know you finna get paid tomorrow. To check in. Nigga, you need to get a job, one. nigga. Ski, that sounds like my ex-wife. <laughs> See, like, nigga, I know when I you know get when paid. I know when you get paid. Uh, that's some, hey. You know what, bro? I think if I had a gripe of the week, it would probably be the fact that your punk ass is on vacation next week and I can't fuck with you. I got to go to work and not look at your ass for a week. That's my gripe of the week. I ain't got nobody to bag on. Ray? Ray gonna be late. <laughs> Triple X. Oh, well, I talk about that nigga whenever. That's, man, a, got, that's a supervisor. Man, this nigga about as fruity as a goddamn box of fruity pebbles and shit. Like you little bastard, too. <laughs> and the most incompetent so, supervisor. Don't you know can a have. goddamn thing. <laughs> mm. If you watching this X, fuck you, nigga. <laughs> Give a fuck about you, you little old punk. I, <laughs> I want your job, nigga. You can have a job. You already know more than this nigga. <laughs> All right. Shit on some real shit. This nigga don't a show dumb. up Monday, nigga. This nigga's a dumb fuck on some real <laughs> shit. Don't show up Monday. Hey man, but before we get out of here, man, is there anything else y'all want to say to anybody? Y'all want to give anybody else some shout outs before we get out of here? Shout out to the the homies, uh, second and nine. Shout out to Boomer. Shout out to Ras Cash, Chino Excel, Planet Asia, uh, IB. I'm shouting out everybody to help me on this last project. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Shout out to the girl Roach, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to uh, Mike. And uh, shout out to John Epps. I said John Epps. John Elkins. All right, all right. John. <laughs> Y'all want to give a shout out to anybody before we get out of here? Uh, shout out to my sisters. Um, Sister. My mom. Um, that's it. Yeah. Shout, out, first. shout out mom. Shout out my sister, my bro. Um... Shit, shout out Nehru, Princess B, shout out uh, RB, shout out everybody on the album, everybody, you know, John, people, Power production, you know, uh, we coming soon. That's what I'm talking about. Coming soon. Hey, Joe, you talk to mama this week, bro? Talk to mama every day. That's what's up. Hey, mama, how you doing? Talk to her Hello, every day. Moms. Text her. Mm-hmm. Talk to her. Got to. That's what I'm talking about. Shit, shout out y'all, man, for letting us be here, man. Hey, Appreciate man, it's you. a yeah. pleasure, bro. Yeah, and anytime y'all got anything else and y'all want to talk about it, man, y'all got an open platform right here. Mm-hmm. Got an open sure. invitation. Hey, Thank you. Appreciate and, that. And if y'all don't know, before we go, man, we got Big Ski Radio on 24-7. 
And today, what we got on Big Ski Radio, Joe? We got the Dusty Joe Kickback Show at 5 o'clock. From 5 to 7, we play uh, a lot of oldies, soldies. Uh-huh. Music you can cruise to, barbecue to, you know, something you want to slow dance with your, your girl with. Okay. And then from 5 to 9, I mean, excuse me, from 7 to 9, we got Latin hip hop. Yeah. To where, you know, you can listen to a lot of the, um, Latin rappers that you generally don't hear in mainstream. Yeah. Have and, a good time. And your shows is stuff we don't listen to the rest of the days on yes. Big Ski Radio. Yes. So Sundays are important. They're special. They're we're playing the music that Dusty Joe Taylor made for y'all. So y'all tap in, man. Every Sunday from five to uh seven mm-hmm. is the Dusty Joe kickback hour from seven to nine is the Latin hip hop. So y'all fuck with it on Big Ski Radio. Mm-hmm. On Tuesdays and Thursdays, we got unsigned artists. Nehru is always in the mix on Tuesdays and Thursdays, so y'all tap in to Big Ski Radio. Thank you, yes, sir. Tap in. Hey, tap we got in, something Big special Ski. coming for y'all in a second, too, so yeah, y'all, y'all stick around. Hey, but on that note, we're going to get up out of here. We want y'all to enjoy y'all Sunday. If y'all ain't heard it today, man, we love y'all over here at uh, Anything Goes Podcast. Love. It's your boy, Big Ski. Peace. It's your boy, Dusty yeah, Joe. Yeah. It's Nehru. Princess B. Hey, y'all enjoy y'all Sunday. We out. A little piece of hair grease. <laughs>